So this is the moving maze. We start off first with the gameplay. In the beginning, we are introduced to this small area with a statue and a beautiful garden which seems to level you up the longer you stand in it. After you leave the leveling up garden we stumble upon this statue that you have to make offerings to in order to progress further with your level. The further you progress in the game you see there are multiple things to farm, such as berries, trees, stone, and even diamonds. As you can see the walls are moving and you have to find your way through this maze. There are multiple monsters and also weapons for you to choose from, to help you on your journey through the moving maze. I rate gameplay a 7 out of 10. Next up we have difficulty. Was the moving maze a difficult core game to play? With all the skeletons shooting their bows and arrows at you while you were mining your resources, constant dying from jumping over lava and traps, trying to solve puzzles and trying to remember which freaking way to go because every five seconds I would get lost in the goddamn maze. And then I would have a small panic attack because I am so indecisive about which way to go and I always take the wrong route because I suck balls. <laughs> the amount of resources I need to farm is a lot and I always have to run back into the big scary moving maze. I can't count how many times I have fallen off of these pillars because I don't have any sense of coordination nor any basic skill set at all. Emotional damage! I rate difficulty a 7 out of 10. Next up we have enjoyability. Did this moving maze drive me insane or entertain me? Well I would say a little bit of both. I enjoyed the fact that there were so many cool traps, areas and monsters to explore and some riddles to solve within the maze. But to get to that place and then remember where it was located took the whole goddamn day. It was a real grinding game and needed to collect so many coins and materials just so I can bump up one level. Some friends showed me the way sometimes and I did the same for them. I mean if you like putting in the hours or you like collecting a lot of resources then this game would be a shooing for you. I rate enjoyability a 7 out of 10. Next up we have concept. What do we think about the concept of this game? The idea of running through a big moving maze is hella interesting, especially if you don't know what waits around the corner. Imagine you have this big space surrounding you with walls, traps and riddles to solve. Having to think about where you last seen that special key and trying to fight your way through the zombies and skeletons. The concept of the game is very well done and would really love to see more from this game in the near future. I rate concept in 8 out of 10. Last we have magical. Was this game magical in any shape or form? Did it tingle my magician senses? Did this game catch me off guard and wanting me to come back and play through this huge ass maze again? Yes. Even tough it took me so long to gather all the resources, and I mean an enormous amount of resources. I really enjoyed the journey to the end. I don't want to spoil the end game for you but you will definitely like the ending and you will find it very rewarding. I rate magical a 8 out 10. So we have gameplay a 7 out of 10, difficulty a 7 out of 10, enjoyability a 7 out of 10, concept an 8 out of 10, magical an 8 out of 10. The overall score for the moving maze is a 7.4 out of 10. Thanks for watching. Subscribe or I will curse you.